When I decided to join the Master in Sustainability Management at ESCP Europe, I wanted to understand better how business activities were impacting our society and above all how, as a manager, I could contribute to solve complex challenges of our century, such as climate change or the rise of inequalities. We look at sustainability from different angles within the business. So, for example, we looked at how you could create a sustainable supply chain, but also looked at the field around it. So we had classes on environmental policy, but also looked at the natural science uh, behind climate change. This made sure no topic went unchallenged. We all evolved with a much more critical sense of thinking. All of these things come together to create something that over the next hundred years is going to be essentially the next revolution in business in this particular sector. Mm -hmm. You can't look beyond that. You can't say we're going to continue the way we've always done with fossil fuels, with oil, with gas. So it just doesn't work because people are being able to become part of their own grid. If you've got solar panels, if you've got energy storage, the grid has to change and with those challenges over the next 10 years or the next 20 years, you're going to be able to see the opportunity for value creation, not just for the companies, but for the people who used to be customers, but then they can be co-creators within the companies. Apart from what we did in our class, we also founded a student organization that is concerned with sustainability and management and economics education. It's called Oikos, and we founded the Berlin chapter here, but it's part of an international organization. We're also part of the organization team for the Sustainable Innovation Conference that's happening here in January. I work now in the Senate Fund that is investing in companies focused on financial inclusion, job creation, women empowerment and affordable housing in the Middle East and North African region. I think I've developed in a lot of ways. The first one is a sense of empathy. I've learned to look at a problem not just from my point of view. Another one is a sense of urgency. Nothing happens if you're just having idealistic views and imagining something will do this for you. I've learned to appreciate even the smallest level of change at grassroots levels. 